So we're here in Thessaloniki here in Greece and uh, we're checking out a really cool, um, what do you call this? Solar sunbed. Solar sunbed. Yeah. Hi, so yeah, who are yeah. you? Hi, I'm Vasilis. We're here to show you our demonstrators. We collect some power and uh, we have, have power to charge our phones, laptops, etc. Where's the power go? I'm Evangelos Mokinidis. I'm the production manager. The power goes directly to the battery and then you can support the power for a fridge. So you can have all the drinks. cold beers and the yeah, exactly. Cokes. <laughs> and it's just powered by the sunbed, nothing yes. else. Only by the sunbed. You don't have to connect the sunbed. Nothing else, nothing else. Nice. Is this ready? Mass production? Can do? It is ready. The photovoltaics are mass production. And um, uh, the efficiency, you can get enough for phones and what yes, you can for do. for phones yeah, or yeah. laptop, as you also saw the fridge. And it has a nice shade, right? It has. Yeah. It does, uh, the sun is behind here, mm -hmm. but it, it shades and a nice kind of a pattern here. Yes, it can be made also in different colors, like blue, gray and green. Nice. That's cool. That's perfect for Greece, no? Yeah, it's yeah. perfect. Yeah. And hi, who are you? Hi, I'm Chrysostomos Varlamis. I'm the product developer. Let's uh, now check our uh, charging station. This is a kiosk with yeah. uh, organic photovoltaics. And uh, here we can harvest pure sun power to charge electronic devices like... So uh, 2.1 or, or... Exactly, it's 5 1A. volts, 2.1 amps. This is 10 watts for, for charging devices. You charge As any you USB. See, and this is a little, uh, what do you call it, kiosk you can have at the beach or...? That's a kiosk, uh, you can have it at the beach, on uh, hotel rooftops, uh, everything off-grid. And so it provides a little bit of shade? You it need your phone there? It provides a little bit of shade, uh, you can have a stand here or uh, some uh, comfortable chairs. You can charge your phone, your laptop, you can do work under here, you, you can uh, plug in Wi-Fi, everything you need. And what do you have in this box? Uh, this is a charge controller and the battery. All right, cool. It looks nice. Yeah. Um, so do you have an, uh, some other demo here? Yes, of course. Yeah. What are we looking at here? We have a pen. Here we also yeah. can charge our phones. So uh, this is a solar power cell. What do you call it? Yeah. Yeah. Solar power cell. And there's a bunch of phone connectors here, USBs. Yeah, yeah. This a little Android, Android logo. <laughs> and then, why well, is it only for Android? It could also... It can be made also for iPhones, but it's a different protocol. It is especially in this demonstrator. Yeah. And then, here, parasol. And it will sustain the rain and the wind, right? Yes. Yeah, Everything? Yeah. Cool. You have one with demo over there? Yeah. So what is this? Here the photovoltaics are adapted directly on the, the glass and they support, can support power uh, like uh, the filters for the, for the pools and uh, let's say some lighting. They can be easily adapted in different colors like blue here and gray here. And how much power is coming through? Uh, this one is, uh, I think it's around 20 watts. Nice. And so this is your material that, that's easily installed, like just... Yes, it can be easily adapted. You can see it's double-sided tape, adhesive, mm -hmm. nothing more. Because they're so lightweight, it uh, weighs around uh, 0 0.5 kilos per square meter. Hi, my name is Darius Dimitriou. I'm the business development manager of Organic Electronic Technologies, and I would like to welcome you to our booth. And let me introduce our production manager, Vangelis Mekeridis. I am Vangelis hey. Mekeridis, the production manager of OET. And here you can see our demos. What does OET do? OET is working in the field of organic electronics, mostly focused on the organic photovoltaics. So you do all these um, cool things like this, um, flexible photovoltaics that can go in a jacket? Yeah, here is a jacket with uh, organic photovoltaics. You can see that they are flexible, they can be adapted on clothes, and you can charge your mobile phone or other things like that. And you also do um, like this stuff that goes in here? Yeah, we call it flexible lighting. It's a uh, ear lighting. Uh, you can be adapted in packets and other applications. Yeah. And other applications. You can see that here it's flexible. And uh, with different colors like blue, green, white, etc. 
We're now, we're now just building the demonstrator. So demonstrator just to do some cool demos here at the show? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. We have many demonstrators here, you can see. Organic photovoltaics that produce energy directly from indoor lightning. So you, there are, the lights are turned on. Also here, also with the lighting. You can see when it's turned on, the light produces the organic will die for this energy and the ideas are then not so long. All right. And uh, what do you do with this? This is the next step of organic photovoltaics. Here you can see that in this process we, pro uh, we coat on stripes and here is the next step on different shapes, conformable shapes, with more aesthetic looks. All right. Um, uh, nice. So we're gonna do some videos also. Uh, you have some more demos. A machine like this. Should we check it out? Yes, of course. So you we have it over already? there. Let's go there. Yeah, the technology conference. This is the flexible solar refrigerator. Yes. The solar panels are charging. Battery and the battery. So the solar here, charging battery. The battery over here, and then the refrigerator is working. We have some ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah. And I taste the one. It's very tasty. I mean, it's it's a full refrigeration. Yeah. And this could be great on the beach. People yes, selling ice course, cream. For off grid systems, they can work with in uh, remote areas. And then uh, it's easy to put on new panels in the top here. They're easily adapted. The, the weight is really low. It's 0 0.5 kilos per one uh, square meter. Nice. And here you have a is a car. Yeah, it's a car roof. It's a, in, a pro, in a project that we are working with uh, our partners from Fiat. So this is a replica of uh, a, a car roof, a solar car roof. So it's just a. It, it's shaped like a car roof. Yes, of course. It's not flat. It's not flat. Also, it's semi-transparent. One, nice. one more benefit about the organic photovoltaics. And th this can help to uh, extend the range of an electric exactly, car. Exactly, exactly, yes. By a certain amount of percent, right? Mm -hmm. And this is how it looks on the car? Yes. Right here. Um, how far are you into deploying this? Uh, uh, one project has finished. Another project is we are working on. It will be finished on uh, 2020. Hopefully, everything will be there. To see different colors, different uh, transparent uh, rate of transparency, and we will see how it will perform on the car directly. Does it mean that the electric car can go 5, 10, 15 percent more yes, range, exactly. or what does it mean? An electric car also it can reduce the consumption of uh, gas even in uh, conven convertible cars. So if you if you park in the sun instead of parking in the shade, if yes. you park in the sun, when you come back, you'll have a little bit more range. Mm -hmm. Another thing that uh, in the, this demonstrator that we had, we had, uh, we had made, a, let's say, a small uh, air conditioning unit that uh, produced a cool or a warm uh, environment while the car was parked in order to be more friendly when you visit it after uh, staying in, uh, in the sunlight.